Hello again, class of um, computerized auditing. We are going to talk out more about the software zero for the full transaction processing and cycle, the revenue cycle, expenditure cycle, and commercial cycle. And later on for the ERP on the later subjects. Um, let me go back first on the basic setting up of the zero. So if you are on the pre-engagement um, process with your client, you may want to engage a conversation regarding the um, setting up or the zero. First, this is processed on the data gathering or the questionnaires, background check, understanding more about the clients. So on that uh, pre-engagement stage, you need to um, discuss how, how the whole um, the tools and the techniques that you're gonna use. Hold on. In adding about, in adding your organization in zero, for those who are not on the um, previous uh, discussion, we're in the ad driven ADP audit. Um, you need to add the organization by going to my zero and clicking the add organization button. In here, you need to put on a display name, which is the organization trade name. For example, let us make um, your sections uh, organization or corporation. Um, and then where would the tax be Philippines? Let's create a trial. Um, account for us. This is equivalent to 30 days trial. By that time, hopefully the coronavirus is already um, minimized or mitigated. You are um, forwarded to the simple guide for setting up the process. First, you need to start with the organization settings. Um, in here. For the organization settings, it's pretty much all the details about your company, um, where it is uh, located, and then uh, the postal address. Let's say, let's address it to Life Tree Resources. And then just copy it, the postal code. In here, since uh, I mentioned 
the API or the program of Zero is basic and then it's pretty much connected with the different applications. You can connect it with a CRM, with a supply chain management system. And in here, it connects with um, the digital marketing format wherein you can be able to um, supply all the social media links on your invoices. And if you want to um, click the, the make it a public profile, it enables you to um, put it out there on the digital world and able you to have um, ma maximize the search engine optimizations or part of the digital marketing services that you can provide. So I will skip that for now, but you can put in your LinkedIn, your Google, Facebook, so that um, when it will be listed public, the search engine optimization is done. The next is the financial settings. This one identify if it have a um, calendar year or the fiscal year. Let let's put a peso for its um currency, local currency, and then for the financial year and as I said, you can put it on the calendar year end or you can change it to your um, fiscal year end. Like for us, it would be like, for example, um, fiscal year ending June 30. And in here, you can put in cash or accrual basis of accounting. Cash for the tax and then for the philippines um we use cash basis for tax sing authority and then you can put in your um id number let's just invent um, this is it's 12 digits tax number okay or tax number and the display name is the one that we registered to our bureau. So let's say this is the EBP audit in Tax period, mostly annual. And as for the Philippines, if you go to the menu of every restaurant, you can figure out that um, the prices already include, is inclusive of the VAT, 12% VAT. So, we don't have to. For our time zone, we are the same for Singapore and Kuala Lumpur. We don't need to change that. And then... Next is we can design our own templates. We've already um, we've already started to um, put in some of these. We can put a logo. We can customize the uh, margin. Put some columns. Let's say we are um, let's get a logo for automation. It could be in JPEG, PNG format. Okay, we can skip that.
for now. We can also like if we, there's a um, specific clients like SM who requires a, a different standard of invoicing. You can add in a new team. Um, default settings. Aside from the standard, you can add in a new format or template for your um, invoicing. Also, preview. Say DCA. Now let's go back. So this is what the invoice will look like in the desk and usually have um this of after the you don't have to like add or um every time you do data entry. It will save you a lot of time processing for that and also for the code expiry date of the following. That's the default setting. You can also pattern this on your OR number. And for the invite users, Yes, you can enter in the name of the participants. For example, let's say we have Joan. What would be your
If they have payroll admin role and they have advisor role. Mm -hmm. In here, you need to add the currency that probably you will be using. Like, if you are going to transact with an importer from the US or from Australia, you need to add the um, currency. Zero would automatically um, or update daily your exchange rate to XE. Um, which is a global um, basis for the exchange rates. In here, we are, if we are gonna connect it with other tax um, rates and then um, system like one tax tax turbo tax and other um, electronic tax service software provider you may be able to skip this for now and then later on set it up it will be on our another topic for the chart of accounts, um, by default, Zero already set this up. Um, I've already discussed with you on how to import the chart of accounts that we made. And then for the account balances, We just need to add a bank account if there's a bank account that we need to set up. You can even connect the online um, bank feeds of your bank through Zero. So in here, of course, it should follow the um, unique code coding of the chart of accounts. For our banks, you just need to find like HSBC, um, Hong Kong, Hong Kong. Let's see. Let's look for um, Bank of China, Hong Kong. Bank. Will automatically find your bank and then connect it with the zero. It will. You can even set up um, your petty cash fund. So here, let's say petty cash fund or um, cash revolving fund. Some um, other use that and just put in the petty cash. And then let's say the account is one zero zero. 
account type, just put in other. And for in this example, I just made up the account number, but it should be the bank account. And then for the account balances, if you are importing or converting the manual account, uh, I mean the manual books to your computerized um, based computer based accounting system, you may put in the date wherein it is converted for example here we use january 2020 that would be like the opening balance or opening date um zero use conversion the term conversion for any opening balance says so in here you can if you've already audited the previous year and you are in already know the exact balance you may have to um put in the ending balance as of december 31 that would be your conversion balance or opening balance for this year beginning january 2020 and of course it would it should be based on the trial balance of the previous year meaning at the end the debits should be equal to the credits total credits um if you haven't do, done any account reconciliation for the conversion balances we set up the um, accounts payable and accounts receivable to zero for this um zero accounting system um, recognize accounts receivable and accounts payable as the control account and then we click in the lock balances at 31 2019 meaning it ensures that no previous data or transaction is recorded or any adjustment done before december 31 2019 only if you have the advisor roles or users you can able to um, enter any transactions before December 31, 2019. So that would become the, what? An adjustment entry already in your general journal. And then your setup is complete. On our next topic, I will um, record the invoicing process for our um, zero and then um a little re review for the bill or the purchase overview for uh, i know we already tackled it on our previous sessions um just for your reference or review materials i will um discuss it further Okay, stay tuned.